So here we have a Freelander drive shaft that I'm about to convert to 1310 uh, with bigger tubing. So what I do first is I machine out the tube yoke to fit into my new tubes, uh, Spicer tube, which is thicker and stronger. And then after this, uh, press it into the tube and weld it, true it and balance it afterwards. Installing the 1100 series U um, joint for the viscous side of the Freelander. I machined it out, now we're going to install the U joint. So take two of the caps off, put it in the yoke. Got to make sure that these bearings don't fall out when you're installing it. Put the trunnion up, the cap on it. Arbor press, bring it out, and you install the clip. Gotta make sure that it goes right in the groove. Got your pliers. Then you'll see that it's right in the group. Then you put your other side on, your other cap on. Center it on the trunnion. Send it in. Arbor press it down. Bottoms out. Take your other clip. Put it in. This needs to be seated. If it's not seated, it's not in right and it'll pop out. Sometimes what I do is I'll bring it back. Make sure it's pressed in. Now you can see that it's still not seated all the way, so I'll grab it. Punch it in to make sure it's all the way in. As you can see, it's fully seated all the way around the, the groove. So after we got everything cut out, the pipe, the yoke, the machine down, we put the U-joints in, then we put it on the machine and we phase it to be dead center and then we press it in so we start pressing slowly Next step is to true it, then weld it, and balance it. So after we uh, push in the yolks and the stub, we true it.
into a high spot right there. So what we do is mark our high spot and we hit it with to leave them at 3,000 or under just so that everything flows smooth after it's been crewed I tack it and then I weld it so here it is I got my jig up um, positioned ready to weld so we're gonna start welding this Gives you beautiful welds. So after we weld it, we come back and check it. See how if it's still true or straight. Which this one's still within the three thousandths. After that, uh, put the slip on it and start balancing it. So when I'm balancing the drive shafts, um, spec is 5,000 and under, but for a uh, race or these Civics that are pushing five to 700 horsepower, I'd like to leave them at 3,000 or under. If I can leave them at zero, I will, I will leave them at zero. So as you can see, after adding the weight, giving me one to 2,000, which means this uh, drive shaft pretty much perfectly balanced. So Ready to go on the road. What I need to do is tack the weight and paint it. So after we got it all balanced and welded, we threw on the um, 1310 E-Series, K-Series wrench, four bolt adapter there. Bolts right up to any B-Series, K-Series, or CRV hand transmission. So for the rear Freelander shaft, same concept. Um, I'm gonna true it, make sure that both yokes are facing the same way. Uh, make sure that it's straight, press it in, uh, tack it, weld it, balance it. Same as a slip. So here I am uh, installing the Freelander carrier bearing. Put it on there. Use the actual yoke to push it in. I'm gonna use a 21 millimeter socket. I just start pushing it in. Keep 
counting it till that's flush. There you go. That's how I stick the terry bearings in. And here's the finished product. This is the viscous with the carry bearings installed, ready to go. And here's the drive shafts assembled and ready, ready to ship.